Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my video for the Jewelry Making Fun collab. It's a collab hosted by Deb Houck and her jewelry channel is Dahlia Designs Jewelry and More. Um, and in the description below, you'll find the channels for all the other participants. Um, their links will be listed for you to go and check out their projects. Um, for the month of February, we needed to use the color green and then um, there's two challenges that we can choose to um, you know that we can choose to incorporate each month um, option one was to use silver findings and option two was to um, like use saint patrick's day or luck themed um, items and I did not have any of, I did not do option two. Um, I did not see any type of, um, well, I never even thought to look for like four leaf clover charms or, you know, anything pertaining to St. Patrick's Day. Um, I was at Hobby Lobby one time in the last couple weeks and I just never even thought to look for something like that. Um, so I just decided to go with the green theme and the silver. I did do the option number one, and that was to use silver findings. Um, now these items here, the green beads, um, these two different green beads, and this char or pendant, they were actually already kind of kitted up. I have a box on my shelf that I have. Um, it's stuffed full of little like Ziploc baggies where I've put together um, kits with like coordinating beads and charms and findings and stuff like that. So I found this green that I had forgotten about. Um, and I pulled some other items off of my shelf that I've had for a long time. So all of these items here I've had for probably, I'd say six, seven years or more. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with the pendant or the necklace. Um, this is about a 15 inch necklace. And I love the shorter length necklaces um, for myself. I just love um, how I like the length of the 15 inches. And that is from clasp to the bottom of the pendant. Um, this pendant here is, it was purchased from Hobby Lobby, uh, the Metal Gallery brand. And it's just this gorgeous green, um, sort of a darker green with these lighter green like daisy flowers and the silver um, centers in the flowers and the back is silver. Um, I think it's a very beautiful image. I love that pendant. I've had it so long. I can't believe I haven't used it before now. So it was perfect for this collab. And then I just added the pendant to this really pretty little um, bale. And then I just went with some, just a simple little pattern that I put together of these smaller green beads. And then these are some clear um, like glass. And I just, um, kind of used um, these up, <laughs> if I can speak, um, put some bead caps on each side and then just separated everything with um, daisy spacers and went with this. And then next are these really cool little like sort of see-through green um, sort of disc shaped beads. Uh, they're very uh, like, um, not exactly round, but not exactly flat either. <laughs> Just a nice, a cute little shape. And then back to the clear glass with the, um, oh God, I cannot talk. <laughs> back to the clear beads with the bead caps. And then these cute little bumpy beads that are black. And these are acrylic. Um, and these that look like metal, they're actually acrylic as well. Super lightweight. So they're not, this isn't like a very heavy necklace. Um, so just used a few of those black bumpy beads with the really pretty silver filigree and then these really pretty like rondelle spacers and then some more of the clear glass ones and more of those green sort of disc shaped beads and back to the clear and then a bunch of the smaller green ones to finish off the necklace and then the clasp um, this was um, from the bargain bead box February kit 
Um, they had about five of these in the package and I didn't want to go all the way across the room um, to look for a clasp out of my stash on the shelf. So since that was laying right beside my jewelry table, I went ahead and just pulled out one of those. Um, and I thought it looked really nice with it and has a little bit of a pretty design kind of etched into the toggle there. And so that is what that necklace looks like. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I love the different shades of green in this necklace. And then the bracelet, I just used a bunch of the same beads. Um, made this little section here um, with the black and the silver beads. And then I had one of these clear beads left over, so I just stuck that right in the middle. And then just used eight of these green um, beads here. And these green ones, they are acrylic as well, so they're super lightweight. And then these are just like a little pearl bead that's got like texture on it. I just call them sort of textured pearls. Um, these green here and these green ones were from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're both from the Color Gallery. And I have had them for ever and ever. So it's nice to be using up things that I've had around for a long time. And I actually did not have to purchase any of these uh, just for this collab. A lot of times I have a bad habit of going out and buying something new to go, you know, to do my monthly jewelry project. This time I was able to actually just pull out a, a bag, like a kit, and pull off some beads off of my shelf and get my project made. Um, so thank you everyone for stopping by and I hope you all have a great day today and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.